so uh, everybody's patting me on the back, telling me how proud they are of me for making it two whole years. And I look around the room, you know, and I realize that nobody there had been clean and sober for as long as me. It's kind of scary. I'm telling you, you and me, we're a team. Just give me a chance, Uncle Dave, and I'll prove it to you. Who better than me to be your assistant, huh? I'm, I'm smart, I'm organized, I know music, and I, I desperately need this job. All right, okay, but you start tomorrow. Oh, Dave, this is great. I, I won't let you down, I promise. Yes! Yes! It's still one day at a time. I mean, it's always gonna be one day at a time, but now, I mean, when I wake up in the morning, I... I look forward to one day at a time. Today's the day that the world becomes my oyster. Today's the day that I've set aside to find a place in the new sunshine. Today's the day I start using my voice. Today's the day that I crack that shell and probe it for a pearl or two. Today's the day, cause that's my choice. Sir. Check. Made out to DHT Enterprises. Dead head door? Could be. Maybe there'll be more reasonable bud repairs? Yes. Here's my part of the rent. Hey, you guys. I got a list of repairs this high. Things are gonna change around here. Yeah, and if they don't, we'll just respond with random acts of violence. Well, Marsha, I should be paying less rent, you know. Here's your extortion money. Oh, thank you, Stuart. Wow. At least it isn't dated 1924 this time. A rental relationship is fundamentally antagonistic, Fisher. It's my duty to try and trip you up. Dos Vidal. Morning. Oh, my God, it's the first. Can I give you my check tonight? I'm really late for work. Sure. I know you're good for it. Thanks, Mac. You're a saint. Morning, man. Oh, my God. It's the woman I've been dreaming about for 20 years. Pig? Hey, man. You can't go in there. Sure I can. I own the place. You're a drive home day from the oldie station. Hey, not oldies, my friend. Classics. And you are? Oh, I'm, I'm Matt Fisher. I'm super. You're the ex-con, right? Hey, I got no problem with that. Spent a night in the joint myself way back when. Ever heard of the uh, Scarborough 7? No. I want to thank you for all the good work you've done around here, Mac. I uh, hope you can stick around for a day to show my nephew Frank the ropes. Yeah. Help out with the transition. He'll be here uh, a little later this evening to uh, take over from you. Nice to meet you, nephew. Transition? Hey, we're shaking bacon. Faggot. You watch where you're going, you piece of garbage. Nathan? I don't know why you take it from him. Scratch? Yeah. I won't give him the satisfaction of thinking that he gets to me. Fine. Whatever. Listen up, wheelers. Here's the latest tally of your billings. Remember, Friday is the deadline. As usual, the courier that bills the least each month gets desk boot. Yeah, yeah, right. We're fighting for survival against the fax machine here. Don't blame the system if you can't cut it. What a crock. We can't control how many deliveries we make. <sighs> Relax, you're the second best courier here. Yeah, I'm slipping. 
Nathan, man, come on. You gotta hustle. You and Scratch are right at the bottom. <sighs> hey, Bandero. You're going down. But of course, you're probably used to that, aren't you? <laughs> no, I haven't signed the lease. See, what happened was my friend Tony bought the building, but he didn't know. What difference does it make whether it's zoned industrial? I mean, there's people that are living here. Yeah, no, no, I understand. What you're telling me is that I don't have any rights. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, thank you very much. Hi. Hi, you must be Mac? Yeah, you're Jan, right? Jan Beecher. This is my daughter, Christine. Yeah, um, you're in 2C. I'll go get the key. Thanks. Well, it's a lot bigger than the old place. I want to go home. Sweetie, this is our home now. Look, I promise, OK? When we get it all fixed up, it's going to be even better than Nova Scotia. OK? Come for Bandero. Bandero here. 10 Mauer, that's King and Duff, two pieces. 10-4, King and Duff, I'm on my way. This is my pickup. Yeah, it's a jungle out there, pal. You witchy gimmo disc. So you wait for your chance and you scoop the next guy. I don't work like that, Marsha. I'd rather lose my job. Oh, that guy had no right taking my pickup. I'm talking to Pencil Nick. Nathan, wake up and smell the garbage, okay? Guys like him don't care about us. Don't get mad. Get even, okay? Okay. Open! Rent? Right, I'm um, just leaving on the table. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm out of here. Why? Well, the uh, new landlord's hired his nephew to be the super, so yours truly is redundant. What are you gonna do? Well, I know some people, some old friends from before. How does your sponsor feel about this? Well, I haven't actually talked to him about it. Mac! Look, I can stay clean, Annie. Don't worry about it. What about these old friends? Are they clean? Must be the nephew. It's subtle. We'll talk to him. Explain what's going on. We'll work something out. Annie, don't get involved. Please. I'm sure he'll be reasonable. He's got to understand. Annie? Frank? You two know each other. What are you doing here? I live here. I'm head of distribution for Drive Home Dave Enterprises. Oh, I thought you were the super. Yeah, well, I'm that too. I happen to be Dave's right-hand guy. This is Mac's apartment. Uh, no. I've got one A. You don't care that Max got nowhere to stay. You don't care that he could end up sleeping on the street begging for loonies in front of the liquor store. You know, Frank, this is so typical. You just wreak havoc wherever you go. Oh, give me a break, would you? I haven't seen you in over a year, and you still blame me for everything. First of all, I'm sorry about this, Mike, but... Mac. Mac? But I need this place as badly as anyone else. 
my parents and I are having artistic differences, so they booted me out. And secondly, I don't move in until tomorrow, so I don't care. You can stay here tonight. Thirdly, what are you doing here? I live here. This used to be a nice building. Great. Just great. Frank Pagnozzi. Mac Fisher. The laundry machines are a bit tricky. And this is a fire alarm. It's fickle. By which I mean it goes off for no reason at all sometimes. Now, your uncle needs to install a new unit. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh, Dave bought this place as an investment. He's not going to sink a lot of bucks into repairs. Yeah, well, what happens when something goes wrong? Well, I'll fix it. What do you know about plumbing and electricity? Well, I know not to stick my finger in a socket when you're in the bathtub. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Frank. This place needs work constantly. Now, you don't know how to do it, and I do. And I don't want to leave, so we can work out a deal. Uh, where... Look, um, I'm sorry, but I need this gig. Things are a little rough for me right now, so, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry. How does this thing work? You'll figure it out. doing? This is my pickup. My people have a saying, Scratch, life is a highway. Sometimes you're the windshield, and sometimes you're the bug. Have a nice day. Okay, people, listen up. I've got your checks. But first, we tallied up the billings, and we have our fax fatality. Who lost by a nose? So let's have a big, warm, farewell hand for Scratch. Congratulations, and uh, best of luck with the rest of your life. All right, who wants their check? Anderson, Becker, Burson. This is wrong. We're human beings. This is our livelihood. People can't do their best when there's an ax over their heads. Nathan? Nathan, shut up. It's inhumane and it stinks, and we won't take it. We're not animals. Nathan. I refuse to be silenced. Maybe you'd be happier working somewhere else. Oh, anywhere would be better than here. Cool by me. Scratch, you got your job back. What? Nathan, you're fired. Becker. Berzenkowski. Chaprin. Yeah, well, that was very noble and all. This arrow. Having an unemployed roommate isn't exactly high on my list of priorities right now. When you stop me. I tried. You were like this runaway train. Oh, God, Marsha, what am I going to do? Congratulations, Nathan. You've become a statistic. I thought you said you quit. Excuse me. Am I not under a little stress here? Carl. Hey, it's Mac, big guy. You were. No kidding. Look, man, I'm just wondering if it's all right if I couch surf for a while. Annie. Let's get one thing clear, Pagnozzi. I may be stuck living in the same building as you, but that does not mean I have to talk to you, listen to you, or deal with you in any way. Yeah? Well, let me tell you something, Miss Nutbar. I don't want to hear from you either. I'm beginning something here. I'm starting my career, and I do not need you getting in my way. Fine. OK. Good. Great. Can I get a tea, Ernie? Sure. No, it's on the house. Thanks. You can crash on my floor. I know it's not a big apartment, You know that but... circa 1970 eaten sofa bed? I mean, if you were careful with it. Don't put yourself up. Hey, I 
Jean, the usual. See, what Ernie doesn't realize is that even here, in the basement of the pit, as low as that is, there isn't the opportunity for the clear downward trajectory that Max sees. Hi, can I get some change? Coming right up. Hi, Max. Hi. Thanks. Yeah, can I talk to Cheryl Ann, please? About a babysitting job this weekend? Sure. Sure. Does she know anyone? Does she know anyone else? Does she know anyone else? You know, Mac, this isn't fair. Pitt is really gonna miss you. You're like a Captain Picard around here. Well, actually, it's more like Scotty, but... Look, anyway, change is good, all right? I just needed to, to challenge myself. Mac, you belong here. Well, not anymore. I knew things were gonna turn out this way. It always happens. Yeah, things have this way of screwing up. Please. What did you say? Nothing. Sorry. I really hate that. No, go ahead. We're all friends here. Why don't you just finish that sentence? All right. If you really think you're a loser, then you are a loser. If I thought like that, I'd be stuck back home on welfare waiting for a monthly check. I don't think like that. And I don't have patience for people who do. Max said he fixed that alarm. Great. Just great. My first day on the job and the place burns down. Dave's gonna kill me. Okay, everyone, just stay calm. The fire department's on their way. Everything's gonna be okay, all right? <laughs> yeah, right. What? I have uh, thousands of dollars of computer equipment inside. If anything happens, my lawyers will be in touch, and uh, they can be very, very nasty. Stuart, you've got nothing to worry about. Everything is under control, okay? Fire! It's okay, sweetheart. We're gonna be safe here. Oh, God. I'm scared. Don't worry. It's just a false alarm. How can you know that? It goes off for no reason all the time. False alarm. Does anyone know how to turn it off? Not only Mac knows how to do that. And he's gone, thanks to you. So you're in charge now, Frank. Do something. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, Frank. Turn the alarm off. No can do, Frank. Please, before the fire department gets here. Sorry, man. I don't work here anymore. <laughs> what do you want? Well, you know, I really like working here. Well, I'm sorry, but there's only the one apartment and I need it. It's a nice night, eh? Is that a Ryan over there? Okay, all right. I 
know you have nowhere else to go, and I feel for you. Despite what Annie might think, I'm not made of stone. So what's your point? How about this? We both know that I can't handle this place on my own. So when I need help, you come and do the work, and I'll give you dinner and some CDs. <sighs> Look, here's the deal. I'll do all the work, we share the place. That's the deal. No, no, no. Fine. You hear that, honey? It's just a false alarm. You don't have to be scared anymore. You can stop, mommy. I know, I know. Okay, guys, everything is being taken care of. It should be off any minute. Done. Oh, great. Um, do you want a beer or something? Uh, juice, if you got any. Okay. Um, listen, about what I said the other day, I shouldn't have done that. It's way out of line. No problem. I mean, it's not like I didn't deserve it. I, I am glad you got your job back. But you scared the hell out of my kid, and if you ever do that again... I won't. I won't. Here's your juice. What? Nothing. <laughs> 